chairman of the Bushnock Group. Thank you for giving us your time uh, this morning, Dr. Bushnock. Tell us first and foremost about your your key initiatives uh, at the Bushnock Group. I get getting uh, Bushnock Group into the desalination business. Uh, this is uh, 35 years ago, and now we are operating. Uh, several private uh, seawater desalination plants and selling bulk water to industries, to major users. Uh, at least in Saudi, in Jeddah alone, we have three locations. And now we signed also long-term BOT contracts in uh, Indonesia and, uh, as part of uh, Moya uh, and Moya Bushnak uh, holding company. Anyone who reads the newspaper knows that water uh, is one of the world's most precious resources and it's becoming more and more precious all the time. What is the, the business and the human development opportunity in the sort of work that you do? Many, especially when you go to the interaction between water and food or water and energy. And the whole world is discovering this uh, energy, water, uh, food uh, nexus. And it's becoming uh, an innovation platform, if you like, at least for people like me. Uh, I have been investing in uh, saline agriculture for many years, and still now starting a new company, Solar Farms, basically how to produce food in the desert using seawater and only the sun as an energy driver to cool the greenhouse and to use whatever source of water and so on. Uh, I am also supporting new technology in how to form clouds in blue skies and uh, increase the uh, chances of rain of that cloud. Uh, so, but more is interesting and more realistic, I think this uh, is really the solar driven desalination, which is going to be a big business in the region. Saudi Arabia, Qatar already announced their uh, plans to build uh, good size, large size uh, solar powered desalination plants, which I am very much interested in. So for those people who aren't familiar with this kind of technology, does that basically mean desalinization, but that the, that the, that the, that the process is powered by solar power, or is it more to it than that? No, it is true. Solar powered, wind powered, any renewable or sustainable source of energy, since now if we continue to use our oil to produce water and electricity, we will not have any to sell in, in three decades. So we have to be leaders because we have lots of solar energy and we have some places also good wind energy. As well as we have geothermal energy in Medina region. So all these are uh, renewable, sustainable uh, sources. So you're a, a son of Medina yourself. Yes. What do you think of the, the, the MILE, the Medina Institute for Leadership and Entrepreneurship concept and its execution as you've seen it so far? It's a fantastic concept. I'm very happy. It is, to me, the best thing that happened this decade, I could say, in Medina uh, and in uh, the Knowledge City to, to drive this uh, city uh, to be innovative and uh, to create the future leaders or generations uh, that can make Medina again a source of uh, knowledge, civilization, uh, not just culture and history, but really uh, business, economics, and uh, as you said, uh, knowledge-based economy. So it is uh, certainly doing, try, uh, doing a lot uh, considering all the challenges and difficulties, especially in Medina environment. But uh, I hope uh, they will continue persisting and uh, will uh, attract more and more uh, leaders from around the Islamic world once the knowledge city develop and becomes a hub for uh, such events. So elaborate on that just a bit for me, if you would, please, sir. In other words, do you believe that Medina being such an important part of, of Islamic civilization 
it, that in and of itself has something to offer in, in a uniquely Muslim way to business and to innovation. I believe so. It can. Of course, it is not going to come out of history or uh, what was written a thousand years ago. It has to come from today's generation with the values that were originated here, promoted here, uh, the principles that we need to revive, to apply, to invent how uh, to integrate, okay? In a peaceful world environment where Islam uh, built civilizations and uh, uh, the stewardship for the environment, for earth, all these concepts that we are lacking, is not that uh, whatever Islam is being promoted now is extreme authoritarian, which is not the case. It is really civil, civilized Islam, or the, the civilization of the concept of Islam, which is the basic also in Christianity and Judaism, the same principles uh, from Abraham, uh, the same, all the source or the values, which we, we need to show as a model that uh, to the whole world, Islamic world and the whole world, this is how we can live together and accept diversity as an asset. My grandfather migrated from Bosnia to Medina. My father, myself, were all born here in Medina. This is an example of how uh, diversity creates value uh, and civilization. is not that you have to accept only people um, who come from this part or that part. But you have to integrate the whole world as one society. It makes us all stronger. Yes. Dr. Ronald Bushnak, I appreciate your time, sir. Thank you again.